Greetings, my friends. Jimmer Linz here with your Source Filmmaker Tip of the Day. Today is Tip of the Day number 30. As always, thank you for tuning in, subscribing, and for all the great feedback. Uh, it's hard to believe that I've actually made it to number 30 on these, uh, so uh, thank you. I uh, wouldn't have made it this far without all the great people who are watching this and uh, definitely clamoring for more, so right on. Uh, before I get into today's tip, I want to give a give you guys a heads up about another person who does tutorial videos. His name is Seria Leon Oak. That's C E R L U E A N O A K, and you can find him on YouTube and on Reddit. Uh, and he's got some great tutorials. Now I do tips about Source Filmmaker, uh, and so I try to keep them short and bite-sized, generally less than 10 minutes if I can, and I want to keep them about one small topic about using Source Filmmaker, something technical or interesting. I haven't done a lot of stuff about animation for a few reasons, because uh, the big one is I'm not an animator, and I don't have a lot of background in it. Uh, I'm good with using the tools, and I'm learning as I go, but I don't want to be giving people advice about the larger subject that is animation in general. Now, on the other hand, this gentleman has some great experience and background from everything I can tell, and he's got some really good tutorials on things like how to, ba how to make a, uh, a walk cycle and so forth. So definitely go check out his tutorials because they are worth watching. They're a little longer than mine, but worth it for all that. Uh, so with all that said, um, I want to take you on today's tip of the day, which is very briefly how to use the auto aim feature for the work camera. Now this is a handy little tool, a handy little tip uh, for when you're working, especially in larger animations or in larger maps, for example, if you've got stuff happening in a couple of places. Uh, then you need to know where a model is that you've placed. Or sometimes one of the things that I've found is occasionally when I import an animation or I do something to a model, all of a sudden it vanishes because it teleported away someplace because whatever I did caused it to move to a different location on the map and I need to find it. Uh, there's a couple of ways to handle that and one of the simplest ones is to just know where it is by using the auto aim feature. Now the auto aim work camera is right here. It's this little... Um, bullseye thingy and you can also select camera uh, auto aim work camera from the little drop down what the auto aim for the work camera does this will only affect the work camera um, if i click it and i go into the main camera nothing will happen when i select elements of the things over here in the animation set editor but if i go back to the work camera and i select medic the first medic which is the red one uh, it points at his root transform. If I select the second medic, it will point at his root transform. And if I select the soccer ball, it will point at the soccer ball. It isn't just for the models, though. I can select the medic's fingers, and it will look at them. They're in the middle of the shot right now. But if I select his body, his arms, unknown, other, I can select his weapon bone, for example. Uh, and this allows you to pick out individual elements that you want to focus on to uh, put, your, put yourself facing at. So, for example, I can uh, uh, deselect everything, turn the work camera completely away, and then, uh, oops, I should, if I turn the work camera completely away and then turn it back on and select this medic, it will point back to it. It's a handy feature, especially if you consider that maybe something like the medic had been inadvertently moved um, or you had dragged it in the wrong location or you've been working on a complex scene and you just can't remember where you put that model uh, that you moved out of the way. One of the things I tend to do is like if I'm working on something and I need to get something out of the way uh, and if I, I plan to use it later, I've been known to like put things off to the side or even outside the map while I work on something else and then I forget where it was. I can see it in the animation set editor. I know it's there and I don't want to have to respawn it so that's a helpful thing. It's helped me a few times uh, in locating things, uh, in finding things in the, in, the, uh, in the source filmmaker environment. So that's how the auto aim work camera feature works. Uh, I wouldn't leave it on all the time because it can get a little annoying because it will, it will literally, every time you change the selected item uh, here in the uh, uh, in the animation set editor, it will point at it. So you know that's something that you may find useful for uh, for brief periods of time, but uh, quite often I found it irritating uh, when I leave it on. Another thing that it's useful for, if uh, if you are doing this kind of thing, is finger posing. Let me uh, turn it on here. And if I expand his fingers, and this is his left hand, so I can cause it to put each finger in the very center of the screen, especially if I go here to the to that. So 
so we can see which ones, which bones I now have selected, and it points the camera right at them. And that makes it a little simpler, I think, sometimes to uh, to locate stuff when you're dealing with little fiddly bits like fingers uh, and having to manually pose them. And uh, that's something I'm going to talk about in another tip of the day, actually. It's uh, finger posing. And uh, I've got plans for some uh, tips of the day on uh, facial animation and so forth. So never fear, we will have all kinds of cool stuff uh, and I've been loving your suggestions for tips of the day. The only request that I have is if you have a suggestion is that it's something that can be relatively simple and I can do in a few minutes and doesn't require me to get into necessarily the artistic side because I'm not comfortable teaching people animation because I'm just not that good myself yet. But I'm getting better. And I hope you are too. And I really do hope that these tips of the day have been helpful in that regard for all of you guys out there who are doing cool stuff with Source Filmmaker. All right, so that is your tip of the day, number 30. And uh, again, I thank you for helping me to reach this milestone of 30 tips of the day. Uh, I look forward to the next 30. And uh, as always, I am Jimmer Linz. I am at your disposal, and I really appreciate all your, uh, all your great feedback. I hope you're having a good day, and enjoy using Source Filmmaker.